He was tightly wrapped around her finger in that wonderful way that only eight-year-old daughters can do to their fathers. And he, in turn, was her whole world. Until one morning. I don't know, sweetheart. What? No, you gotta guess. I don't know what. Come on, just guess. All right, princess. Uh, a squirrel. No, a monkey. A monkey, huh? Yeah, and he's wearing this funny little red suit. Oh, cool dude. He's awesome. So, can I keep him? No. I, I, are you sure it's a monkey? Well, of course I'm sure. Could be a squirrel. Sometimes a squirrel looks I like I know him. what a squirrel looks like, Daddy. I'm not stupid. I know, Princess. I didn't mean it that way. It is a monkey. Besides, if it was a squirrel, he wouldn't be wearing this funny little red suit. Well, you got me there. So, can I keep him? I'll tell you what. Go ask your mom. Okay. Mom, Mom! I found a little monkey in a red suit, and I want to keep him for a pet. But I've got to hurry and get back outside and make sure it doesn't run away. So hurry and get up so you can come and see him, quick! Come on, Mom! A monkey? Oh. Oh, what's the rush, princess? Come out and see Bobo. Bobo? That's his name, Bobo, but I've got to get outside because he wants some more. Oh. He just loves cereal. I see. Do you think she could have really found a monkey? Oh, what would a monkey be doing in our backyard? Then again, you never know. Bubbo. A monkey. Yeah, with a funny little red suit. Can I keep him? Oh, no, sweetheart. Why not? Well, he must belong to someone. We'll have to see if we can find out who his owner is, huh? But what if he doesn't have an owner? Then can we keep him? Ah, uh, I don't know, Princess. We'll see. Please, Daddy, I'll feed him. I'll cook for him. I'll... Okay, I'll tell you what. You can keep him until we find his owner. Huh? Yes, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> All right. Did you hear that, Bobo? You're staying with me now. And if you're a good little monkey, Maybe you can stay with us forever. Uh, uh, no, wait, princess. Ah, oh, that's what I like to see. Firm parental control. Mm. You know, it looks like an organ grinder's monkey you might see at a carnival or something. Yeah. I'm gonna check around, see what I can find out. Well, you may not have to. It will probably be gone by the time she gets home from school. Okay, Mom, I'm ready. Call me from the office, honey. Okay, well. Ow. Bye, princess. Mom, hurry. I can't wait to get to school. Meredith is gonna freak once they tell her I got a pet monkey. Okay, okay, all right, let's go. Talk right. to you later. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Okay, you too. Bye. Daddy. Bye. Hey, how's your day? Great. 
she's really taken an attachment to that monkey. They have been playing together ever since she got home from school. It's cute. Dinner in 10 minutes. Okay. Hi, princess. Hi, daddy. Hi, daddy. Don't I get a kiss? Jennifer, I need to talk to you for a minute. No, no, Daddy. Jennifer, I don't know if it's such a good idea to keep uh, Bobo here in the house. But you said I could keep him. No, wait a minute. What I said... Well, you said was I could keep him. I heard you. Jennifer! See? You're scaring you. I didn't do anything. You sure did. You're scaring him. Now get away! Now listen here, young lady. You just lower your voice. I was only trying to tell you that I don't think it's safe to have this animal in our house. But you already said I could keep him, okay? What I said... You said Jennifer! Hey, Max! Eat your dinner, Jennifer. I'm not hungry. Look, Princess, we just can't have a monkey loose in the house. He'll tear things up. No, he won't. Max is scared, and that's all. He didn't hear anything in the house till you came home. Well, we can't have those two animals in the same house together, that's all. Well, you could put Max outside. Oh, Jennifer, come on. Max has a little seniority around here, don't you think? We can't put him out in the cold just because you found a wild monkey today. I can keep Bobo in my room. I won't ever let him out. I'll feed him all. Absolutely not. <sighs> Princess, I'm sorry, but he can't stay in the house, and that's final. I'm not hungry. May I be excused? Go to bed. Princess, got a kiss for your dad? anything unusual about that monkey what do you mean i don't know just something about it something strange you just don't like anything that steals your little girl's affections from you i don't think i ever remember seeing you that mad that's something else there's something about it it's uh it sounds stupid but i just almost feel like it's i don't know like it's evil Ron, it's, it's just a monkey. I just don't like it playing with Jennifer, that's all. I just don't like it safe. I saw him playing with her all afternoon. He seemed fine. He was gentle with her.
get home early. Yes, I decided to end this feud in the most rational way possible. Confinement. I assume there's a legal precedent for your solution, counselor? Yeah, it's called compromise. Where is she? In a room. Wish me luck. Good. Jennifer? It's all right. I know you've been keeping Bobo in here, and until we find his owner, you may continue to keep him in here on one condition. While he's in the house, he must stay in his new cage. But what if he doesn't like it? Well, then he just has to stay outside. Well, all right. Okay, good. All right, Bobo. Okay, let's see how Bobo likes his new cage, huh? All right, Bobo. This won't hurt a bit. Just take it easy. It's okay, Bobo. It won't hurt you. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy, all right? I'm not going to hurt you. All right? Here we go. <laughs> Seriously? You hurt him! The monster bit me! <laughs> Jennifer, I want you to find that little beast and I want it out of the house. You hear me? Now you get back to bed, young lady. I don't want to hear another word from you tonight. I can see we've been having a little discipline problem around here lately. I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh, Hey there, Maxie. Look what I got. Oh, what's the matter, Boo Boo? Just your friend Max here? Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. He's already had his dinner. Sleep tight, huh? Maybe tomorrow we'll take a little ride down to the vet, and you'll get to sleep for good. Thank God for Saturdays, huh, Max? Of course, you're a dog. Every day's a Saturday to you. Let me just see what's going on, and we can go for a <gasps> Where is he? What? Don't you dare give me that innocent act. Where's the damn monkey? You snuck right back down here and let him out, didn't you? No, I didn't, Daddy. I... How the hell did he get out of his cage? Where is he? I don't know, Daddy. Where I... is he? Up in your room? No, I didn't let him out of his cage, Daddy. I don't even know where he is. You get back to your room, young lady, right now. Do you hear me? Go!
down here. Get out of the house. What are you doing? Get out. Just get out. I need you to leave this house. Run, you're getting a little out of control. You know what that damn thing did? It... I can't explain now. Just, just go. Please, do as I say. Just go. Uh, yes, yes. Um, there's a, uh, a wild monkey uh, loose in my house, and I need some help. I'm sorry, to... sir. That's not a police matter. You'll need to contact animal control. Okay, fine, fine. Could you connect me? Hello? I can't have anything for you till Monday. I can't wait till Monday. Hey, bud, like I told you, it's a busy day. All my trucks are out. Then I'll drive you. <laughs> You sure are anxious to get rid of that monkey, aren't you? I'll give you another hundred after you get him. What's the hitch? I told you, he's dangerous. <laughs> no problem. It's go time. This way. You wait out here. Give me a couple minutes to find that little fucker.
soon.
Jennifer! 